long time no see. Uh, so it's Vader, and I want to preface this by saying I'm not doing Vader. Uh, it's just that every time it comes around, I get that like, I should do Vader thing, even though I suck at Vader and I hate Vader. And uh, yeah, that's enough reasons really not to do it. Come on. Um, so instead I just thought I'd sort of check in and be like, hi, it's Vader, happy Vader. If you're doing Vader, enjoy, question mark. Um, I'm walking the dogs, as you can probably see. Uh, I'll have to do the sort of lead dance in a moment. Come on, Ro, come on. Come on, off we go. Good boy. Good boy, good girl, see, off we go, yeah. We lost oh, the cat's still coming, good. Um, so, uh, what's going on? What's going on? Well, I have started a business. Yeah, scary, 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 scary times. Um, but, but good. So, there's that, which is, like, taking up all my time at the minute. And, of course, law of sod applies because, uh, probably a week and a half, maybe, after, uh, I registered my business and therefore needing, like, you know, technology, uh, my phone, which has been playing up for, like, ever, basically, um, just got unusable, so I had to send it off for repair, so I thought, oh, well, I'll take it in to the, uh, shop, um, sort of, the, you know, the approved shop for repair, and, uh, because they offer a replacement while your phone is being repaired, which seems fair, like a, you know, good idea. Uh, so I took it in. It's an hour's drive to get to the shop, but you know, there we go, we took it in. No, no, no temporary replacement phones available. None, not one, no. So uh, they said, be two weeks to repair the phone. It is now 19 days later, which is more than two weeks. And I am having to borrow my mum's phone still, so my mum hasn't got a phone. Uh, she's having to use a very old laptop. Uh, so she's got no like mobile anything. I am using a not amazing phone that is not as good as I'm used to, even though the one I'm used to didn't really work properly anyway. And uh, it's all really rather frustrating, so yeah. Good for me, but that's how it goes, apparently. So yeah, happy Vader. I will not be Vadering, but maybe I will pop in more often. Ha, ha, ha. Gotta stop saying that, because it never happens. See me, come on. In other news, um, I went to the UK in May, M June, June. Um, <laughs> close-ish, and uh, I went for a sort of long weekend for a, a, a for an agility competition with T. You with you? What? Yes. And she was super, and also not super, but super is what we're going to focus on. <laughs> um, anyway, I really enjoyed myself, and it was a, a huge deal for me because you know. Social anxiety, general anxiety, depression, borderline, oh yeah, it's all fun. Makes every day a joy. But yeah, I really enjoyed myself, and it was our very first competition, and uh, we did really well, actually, we did really well. It's definitely a, a learning experience, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was good. And it sort of gave me the confidence to realise, actually, you know, I am doing a lot better, in general, at the moment. Which is a relief, but also terrifying, because, like, just have the fear that, you know, when is it all going to go to sh again? <laughs> because it does. Always does. But there you go. Um, so yeah, that happened, and that was good. And, uh, come here, boys, come on. And also, uh, there was something else I was going to say. Pff, flies. I can't think what it was now. Um, um, no, it's gone. Later. Can I just tell you, on the list of things that I never ever thought I would do in my life ever, putting milk, not kidding, milk 
Ottawa's scalp was, uh, yeah, pretty high on that list. But, here we are. So, the situation is thus. I, uh, did have bleached hair with pink on the top and just like natural hair down the side for ooh, a while now months anyway and uh, I got fed up you know like I do because that's what happens and I bought some black hair dye because I wanted to go black with pink just kind of like this and I owned an odd about doing the sides because like it's a buzz cut and uh, I didn't want to grow it out because I love it um, but I was like well it's a buzz cut do I you know is it gonna die at all properly is it gonna work is it gonna be really difficult yada 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 and then I thought well if I don't color it it's gonna look really stupid because my natural colour is like a blondish, brownish affair <laughs> um, and it would have been like obviously not black but also uh, really not different enough for it to be like an obvious fashion choice yeah does that make sense? Uh, so I, I thought oh, I sort of, I'm just gonna do it, how difficult can it be? Well, hmm, turns out, quite difficult. So, <laughs> anyway, I uh, obviously managed the top because, you know, sort of, in fashion, <laughs> it's not that bad. But, uh, yeah, there was uh, serious, serious stainage. Um, and you can't actually tell because I've already put milk on it once uh, last night. But, it was, like... <laughs> My scalp was just black, uh, which not a great look for me to be honest. Like from a distance, I think it was all right, but as soon as you were like here, not good, not a good look. So I asked Twitter because you know Google told me to put WD40 on it, thinking that's not a great plan. Anyway, so yeah, I asked Twitter, and uh, a hairdresser and an obviously very experienced blogger both told me to put milk on my hair well, head, scalp uh, and I thought that's ludicrous which it is to be fair but you know uh, but I thought well, it's milk it's not WD-40 uh, you know, if it doesn't work it doesn't work uh, it's not going to do any damage is it? so, <laughs> well, we were Anyway, so uh, I gave it a go, and by some miracle, it did actually take away a huge amount of the uh, stain that I had managed to get all over my skin. So uh, yeah, here we are again, just getting the last of it off. So top tip. Alternatively, you can just like get a professional to do the first dying and then we won't be in this predicament in the first place because that would be good too but you know it's also expensive but I'm not saying it's not worth it I'm just saying it's expensive so instead <laughs> I'm just gonna spend the money that I saved on hairdressers on milk because whatever anyway here we are and that looks so much better than it did <laughs> Honestly, I cannot express how terrible it was. Like, terrible, terrible, terrible. It was not a good look in any capacity. <sighs> Oof. I'm sure if you... Do I need to do like this bit? Is that bit a bit iffy as well? There we go. Ish, maybe. There we go. Um, so yeah, but I really love the, uh, the, like, the look of the actual... <laughs> the hair that looks the way it's supposed to look, you know. Like this bit. Look how cool that is, look. Woo! Woo! It's really cool. I love it. I am pleased I did it because I was really nervous before I did it. I normally get nervous before I dye my hair anyway, but you wouldn't think I would at this point, but I do. Um, but I got like more nervous than usual. Um, and I think it's because uh, I don't know. I don't know. 
I think it's because I knew it was going to look really weird if I didn't do the, the buzz cut bit around the sides and the back. And I thought, hmm, that could easily go really, really wrong. But, you know, it's all good. This bit is annoying me. And I don't, I don't think, I think, it, it, I think it's just hair. I think it's just hair. I don't think it's stained anymore. Oh, God. There we go. So, yeah, oh yeah, my ears were black as well, basically. Ears were black. There was a black bit here. Like Harry Potter styley. Mm hmm. Sex appeal. Oozing. Oh yeah. Anyway, there we go. Success. Thank you, Twitter. Ha 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 ha. Does that look better? That does look much better, doesn't it? Right, okay. I'm going for a shower now. And you're not going to watch that.